Welcome to Nevada Real Estate Post. I'm your host, Jeff. And I'm your host, Tim. And today we have a special guest. Jeremy Doherty with Guild Mortgage. And we're going to be discussing what we're seeing in the future coming up with loans and interest rates. Everyone, get ready! So we're going to talk to Jeremy. We're going to pick his brain about a few things. Jeremy Doherty has been one of the guys in lending that's been in the Valley for quite a long time. I mean, I remember when short sales were going crazy, this was the guy telling us what was going on with all the, the banks. You remember all that fun 17 stuff? 17 years here. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. 17 years in the same business. So yeah, he's, he that's knows a little same, bit man. That crazy? <laughs> of what's going on in the market. So. Welcome to the party here, buddy. That's why I'm looking older and losing my hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm with the gray's hair. hidden with the blonde. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been, it's definitely been an exciting market. We've seen all our ups and downs through the years. And right now, um, some of the most exciting things that I see is is where people uh, their light bulb is coming on, uh, where they've been on the fence of do I buy, do I buy, do I buy, um, and now they finally realize that it's absolutely the time. Interest rates beyond that, historic lows. Um, where we keep thinking they'll never get lower, they're lower, um, which is exciting. You can afford more house. Now we're seeing rent. Instead of paying rent, the house payment is lower than rent. Used to, it was kind of a balanced thing, which was still exciting. But um, we're definitely seeing where people are, they're stepping up and, and definitely realizing it's the time to buy. Now what is the, what, what's the trigger sign that you're seeing that people are starting to buy? Good question. Biggest trigger sign, we've seen it kind of ramp up over the last month. Um, and that is massive amounts of people pre-qualifying. Finally, with down payment assistance programs, grant programs, like we discuss a lot, um, you know, I've got people buying two and three hundred thousand dollar houses that are only coming to the table with, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars, and uh, we're getting what? a grant, a grant That's to cool. cover all of the down payments. So wow. this is this is cool to be able to see, you know, families that the only reason why they were always renting or couldn't buy was. They didn't have the down payment money. It's hard to save that up. You know, whether it's ten, twelve thousand dollars, it's so I don't know if you guys have heard easy. that, if you heard that correctly or not, but so he gets the down payment program for you. If we can get the closing costs taken care of for you, that's the other part of the big number that comes in, you're coming in with almost nothing. And it's free money. That's yeah. the best thing. They never have to pay the money back. Oh, that's you know, amazing. It's, it's it is absolutely free money. You could sell the house six months later if you needed to, and you do not pay the grant money back for the down payment. So now, for the rest exciting. of the year, what, what do you what do you think we're going to go with loans, with with rates, with that kind of stuff for the rest of the year? Do you think we're going to see up, down? What, what, what's your predictions with this? Great, great. We we could follow what the media is saying that oh my gosh, the world's going to collapse when it comes towards election time right. and all this stuff. Um, guys, 17 years of, of me in the lending industry, I have never seen an election, whether it be good people, great people, or, well, uh, these people. So <laughs> I have never seen rates what people is he talking fluctuate. About? Yeah, so I've never seen the home buying or selling fluctuate. Um, I've not seen it take hard hits when that goes on. And people are saying it. And, and the bad thing is the media is scaring a lot of buyers. Um, and sellers away from activity, yeah. um, all due to the election. And I think that's just craziness. What I do think people are finally ready to stand up and they're realizing that paying rent is absolutely throwing money out mm -hmm. the window. Right. Um, there's ways to clean up people's credit, whether you know we put people on track. If they might not be able to buy right now, we'll get you there in a year, six months, three months, whatever it is. So people finally realizing that the ownership piece you know, whether it be for, you know, just, just the financially advantageous portion of buying a house or selling a house, it's, it's, it's their time and to stop giving Mr. Landlord all their money. Well, why, why make somebody else's payment when you can make your own? Right. Well, yeah. and, and as far as Vegas goes, I don't know if you guys have been paying attention. I mean, I'm sure you, you have in this respect, the rental market is getting thin. So there's not a lot out there. So I think yeah. that's pushing a lot of other people to go, you know what? I'm tired of fighting to find a house that I'm not going to be paying on that's mine anyway. So it's a great time to jump out there as far as that goes it as is. well. I, I think one of the big things that's delayed it for now because I have people say, why now? Yep. It's education. People just don't know 
about the grant programs. I talked to borrowers every single day that had no idea you could get grant money yeah. to be able to buy a house. And these are people that as long as they don't make over $95,500 a year, mm -hmm. which is a great income, yeah. um, we're going to get them grant money. So that it's fantastic good. stuff. Now, is there any type of, of other qualification besides that, a certain criteria with, say, their, their credit score or anything like that goes along with Absolutely. the grant money? Absolutely. Um, we do have to have a 640 score. Okay. okay. Um, and for those that don't have that yet, it's normally we can, you know, how many thousands of credit reports my team and I have seen over the years, we can tell you how to get there, you know, to where, to where we do make that happen. But you've got the $95,500 mm -hmm. in, in maximum house qualifying income. Um, 640 score or better, and it must be an owner-occupied purchase, uh, as well as they cannot own any other real estate okay, at the time of, of the actual closing. So, so we, we teased you a little bit with what's going on with the types of loans that are out there, but now we're going to jump back into where do you think the market's going to go in the next two to five years? I mean, we're at the, we did that whole five-year rise coming out of 2009, 2010, and we really jumped up and it's starting to plateau out. Where are we going have from experienced here? the recovery, we'll call yeah. it. Well, I, I, I'm a statistics guy, so I've taken all the timeline since 1954 here in the Las Vegas Valley. And if you take out that false boom period, uh, we've really never grown less than 5% per year as an average. That's a decent uh, growth. Which is yeah. great. And that's where it's always been smart at, at buying, you know, because we only had the crazy collapse and we only had the upside down, all due to a false um, industry driven. Boom. So basically, uh, no matter when you buy, you're still going to make money. I mean, you, you may have that drop, but overall, in, in a home, you're, you're going to make money. You're, you're going to. You're have, always going to make money. You're always going to make as, money. As, it may take you know, longer than you you anticipate, but you're always going to make money. Absolutely. And the people that want to make you know huge profits, they're right. buying properties, flipping them with cash, etc. You know, and that's that's a different realm. That's a business. Yeah. yeah. Um, just regular the normal people wanting to have the American dream of owning a home, your own home, that you're not throwing away the rent money every every single month, um, we're gonna to continue to see it go up. Yeah. Um, the stats are there to support it. It's not just the you know our crystal ball that we're looking at. We've kind of all got one of those, but it's, it's just pure statistics. It's pure industry coming into the valley. I um, think Jeff and I have talked about, I mean, it's where we are right now, the chance of it going up a, a, a lot higher compared to going down in the near future, there's a chance that we think that it might it might take a small dip, but I don't think there's, we're not gonna touch anything like no. we did in the last I don't see it being a dip five, 10 years. That what you're saying is actually healthy. Right, it needs, healthy that, it needs that little natural a correction. A healthy market sure. is, we level out, you know, it's just like going on a, a healthy plane flight. You know, you level sure. out at certain points, you have turbulence at points, you know, you yeah. never, crash you you know have those things we navigate around it the 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 perfection that they've really put into mortgages which is kind of what revolves around all this happening and make it where people actually have to fully qualify put down payments down whether it be their own money or grants um but main it's, it's so detailed on the income qualifying that's what keeps us healthy mm -hmm. that's what keeps it a healthy market no stated income no craziness of you know, if someone could fog a mirror, they used to be able to buy um, right before and during that big fake boom. Um, yeah. So as long as we stay away from all of those, uh, which we will, there's laws in place now federally that, that stop things like that. We're going to see a healthy growth. Okay. We'll, see, we'll see plateaus, but we will see a continuous healthy growth. Okay, it's been great having you in too, Jeremy. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks again for coming in. Thanks for having me. Well, there's part one. That's it. <laughs> We'll have Jeremy back for our next video too, so we'll give more of an update of what's happening in the market and with loans itself. I'm your host, Jeff. And I'm your host, Tim. Jeremy Doherty with Guild Mortgage. All right. And you know what, everyone? Give us a call if you're looking at buying or selling. Here's our numbers right here. And everyone out there, make it a great day.